Hello everyone, I am Lelu and today let's create a level of effect. It's a super useful effect that almost every RPG action game should have. By the way, today's effect was done in collaboration with Coding Quest YouTube channel and his new 3D RPG course. You will be able to download this effect for free and check out the new Coding Quest course, links in the description. So, without further ado, let's get started. This tutorial will be divided into three parts. First, let's create a basic aura effect using particles and a visual shader. Then, let's improve this effect adding an expansive wave. And finally, let's add some extra details and coordinate all the effects. Ok, let's go ahead and start creating the basic aura effect. So for the level up effect, we first need to create a very simple mesh, so let's go to Blender and let's delete this and Shift A to create a new cylinder mesh. I want this cylinder to be on field, so set the, this option to nothing. So let's go to edit mode by pressing tab, move this cylinder up and stretch it a little bit. And finally press W and select Shade Smooth. Ok, so this is the cylinder. It's a simple long cylinder. The only difference is that the pivot point is at the bottom of the cylinder. So let's export this. File, Export, OBG. And let's name this Cylinder Long. Ok, so we are back in Godot, let's import our cylinder mesh. And I want to go ahead and create a new particle system, a GPU particle system. And in order for these particles to work, we first need to create a new particle process material and also in draw passes, assign a mesh to be used for the particle system. In this case, I will use the cylinder. And as you can see, we have a lot of cylinder meshes falling down. This is because of the gravity. So let's go to the particle system, into accelerations, and set the gravity to zero. Also, I only need one cylinder, so set the amount to one. And let's change the size, so let's go to display, scale, and set a scale of 4. Cool, this will be the area effect for the level up effect. Oh, by the way, I don't want this cylinder to cast shadows, so let's close this and let's go to geometry and set cast shadow to off. Also we need a material for the cylinder, so let's create a new shader material here in material override and let's create a new shader. I want this shader to be a visual shader. Let's name it shader cylinder aura. So let's open the shader and I want to do some changes. For example, I want this shader to be the cool mode to be disabled so we can see both sides of the cylinder. Also, I want this material to be unshaded and disable shadows. Cool. So let's start creating the shader. For this shader, First, I want to add a gradient, so right click and create a new texture 2D, set it to color 
and select gradient texture 2D. So let's edit this gradient. I will pick these little points because I want this gradient to be vertical. And yeah, let's now connect the gradient into the alpha channel. And we can see this little line up here. So in order to fix this, let's modify the gradient a little bit. Like so. Yeah, this is perfect. Cool, so we now have this gradient connected to the alpha channel. We also need a color, so right click and create a new color fragment. Let's connect the color and also let's connect the alpha from the color. Oh, we cannot connect it here. So let's multiply the alpha channel from the color with the gradient. Cool, so now if we go to the particle system, we go to display in color curves, we can pick any color we want for the gradient. Let's pick, for example, a yellow with a row value of 2.5, 2 and 0 0.5. A very strong yellow. Also, I want this cylinder to disappear over the time. So let's go to alpha curve. Let's create a new curve. And I want this cylinder to be transparent at the beginning. And at the end, like this. Or maybe something like this. It goes from transparent to full opaque to transparent again at the, the end of the cylinder. Cool, so we have this interesting effect. But we can make it look even more cool by adding some special textures. So, for example, here I have a lot of textures. You can use any texture you want. The important part is that the texture needs to be repetitive. So let's pick, for example, this, this noise texture. And I want to add this texture to the gradient. So in order to do that, let's pick the texture. This is a black and white texture, so we don't need to pick a full color, just one channel. And multiply this texture with the gradient, like this. So now we have this special texture attached to the gradient. We can also move this texture over, over the time. So in order to do that, we need to create a UV panning node. With this, we can move the texture. And we also need to create a time node. And if we connect the time node into the offset, see how the texture is moving. Very simple. I also want to control the speed of this te of this texture. So let's create a new vector two parameter. Let's name it, for example, speed. And let's multiply the speed parameter with the time node. And nothing changes, and this is because we created a new parameter. So let's go to the particle system, let's go to the material. Now we have these shader parameters, and here we have the speed option. Let's put a speed, for example, of 1.5 into the x axis and 3 into the y axis. Let's do one more change. Let's say instead of using this noise texture, we want to use any texture we want. So let's delete this noise texture. And instead of that, let's create a new texture 2D parameter. Let's name it 
our uh, texture set it to color and in order to use this texture we need to sample it so let's sample this and connect this texture so now if we go to the material we have the aura texture property and here we can set any texture we want let's see for example this noise texture or maybe this one so feel free to try using different textures any texture you want just make sure that the texture is repetitive I will also upload these textures here in the description in case you want to use them but anyways the shader is completed well, let's go back to the particle system and let's do one last change here let's go to scale and create a new curve XYZ and I want this cylinder to grow slowly up so let's go to the curve of the Y axis of the scale and I want this cylinder to slowly grow from 0 to 1 so we have this interesting effect cool the aura effect is completed now let's create the expansive wave okay so let's name this particle system for example aura cylinder 1 and I want to duplicate this cylinder so control D now we have the aura cylinder 2 and I want to do some changes to this new cylinder so let's go to the particle process material and because this is a new particle system we need to right click and make unique and do the same for the material right click make unique so we can change only this new cylinder let's go to display scale and I want this cylinder to be even bigger than the last one so let's set a scale of 8 also we can go to the material into shader parameters and change the, the texture for this cylinder for example let's use maybe this texture and set a speed of 1 and 3 also let's go to scale and I don't want this cylinder to grow up instead I want it to grow into the from the center and go small so let's change the scale and because we want to change this new cylinder scale we need to right click and make unique do the same for all the properties of these particles make unique make unique now we can edit the properties so for example I want this cylinder to grow in all the, the di directions but instead of growing up in the in the y axis I want it to go to, to shrink down so let's change this curve so the cylinder goes from big to small into the y axis something like like this I guess is okay excellent we have done the aura effect with a nice expansive wave now we only need to add some extra details and coordinate everything together cool so finally let's go to Photoshop or any painting program you want in this case I will use Photoshop and let's create a new image and put a text here level up let's move it to the center of the image and I want this text to be white 
Also, maybe we can give it some effects. So let me see. Let's go to blending options. Maybe we can give it a, a glow or maybe a contour or something like that. Let's try with a bevel effect. OK. Save it as a PNG. So let's go back to Godot and I want to create a new particle system. Let's create this time a CPU particle system and name it, for example, level up text. So in order for these particles to work, we need to assign a mesh. So let's go to drawing and let's select a quad mesh. So now we have a lot of quad meshes falling down. Let's also go to geometry and create a new standard material. Let's set the shading to be unshaded. Let's go to albedo and here we can assign the level up text we just created in Photoshop. So let's pick the text over here. Now we can see. Oh, by the way, because this is a transparent texture, we need to go to transparency and set the transparency to be alpha. Let's also go to billboard and set the billboard to be particle billboard. So now these particles are always facing the camera, as you can see, which is really cool. Finally, for the material, let's go to vertex color and enable these options. So with these options, we can now edit the color in the particle system. Cool. Let's close the material and go back to the particle system. Let's go to gravity and set it to zero. Set the amount to one. Also, I want this to be, this is maybe too small. So let's go to scale and set a scale of four. And maybe we can make this like go from small to big to small again. So let's go to the scale option and create a new scale curve. I want this particle to be very small at the beginning and then grow up and then go small again. Cool. Also, I want this particle to go up. So let's go to direction and set the direction into the Y axis, zero, one, zero. And let's go to velocity and set a velocity of 2.5. Set the speed to zero. Let's go to color. And we can give it any color we want here. In my case, I want to use a raw value of 2.5, 2 and 0 0.5. Excellent. Also, I want this level up to disappear over the time. So let's go to color ramp, create a new gradient and delete this. I want it to be transparent at the beginning like so and transparent at the end. Finally let's go to damping and let's set a value of 0 0.8 and 1. Now, in order to keep everything organized, I will create a new node 3D and put everything inside the, the node 3D. And we can name it, for example, VFX level up. And right click and create a new branch scene.
let's open the scene and create a new animation player so we can coordinate all the timing for the effects using the animation player let's create a new animation name it default let's put a time of two seconds and let's go to the cylinder one set it to one shot and key the emitting option let's do the same for every particle let's go to the cylinder two enable one shot and key do the same for this one shot key cool so for this effect let's say we want to emit all the effects at the beginning of the animation let's play so as you can see now everything is coordinated maybe we can put the level up effect a little bit later like this let's see let's play the effect okay so let's see how this final effect looks uh, with the character so let's go to the level one and let's make this VFX editable children so we can play the animation and let's play excellent as you can see I added these little particles it's just some quad meshes similar to the text up but yeah it, it this adds a special touch to the effect that's it for this tutorial guys and if you want to get your hands in all of these effects it's all available on my patreon's page and many others as well in case you are interested there is a link below thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next video